हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फील्ड चेक ऑफ डीपी ट्रांसमीटर एज यू नो डीपी ट्रांसमीटर इज डिफरेंशियल प्रेशर ट्रांसमीटर दैट मींस अ डिफरेंशियल प्रेशर इज क्रिएटेड डीपी टाइप ट्रांसमीटर इज वाइडली यूज्ड इन प्रोसेस इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन हेयर आर सम कॉमन एग्जांपल्स ऑफ डीपी ट्रांसमीटर्स लाइक लेवल ट्रांसमीटर फ्लो ट्रांसमीटर्स टुडे वी विल discuss the flow transmitter as an example flow transmitter is used to measure the flow of any process a flow orifice is used along with dp type transmitter to measure the accurate reading we all know that for accurate flow measurement a flow orifice is also used along with the dp type transmitter but if an operator tells you that flow indication is not correct how would you start checking sometimes dp transmitter provides inaccurate readings so here are some steps that are involved in checking so guys if you think that the video is informative please do subscribe and like and share the video the first step is flushing the transmitter and flush both the impulse lines now we will discuss the impulse line impulse lines are the lines that connect any transmitter to the process the dp transmitter is shown in picture by arrow the transmitter is connected with process by using the impulse lines these are the impulse lines these taps are used to flush the impulse lines note that during flush the transmitter may show the incorrect readings the second step is adjust the zero by equalizing if necessary three way manifold valve is shown in the picture here the middle valve is equalizing valve left and right valves are for lp and hp lp means low pressure and hp means high pressure how to adjust the zero by equalizing we will discuss this later in the video if still the indication is not correct then if we adjust the zero by equalizing and still the readings are inaccurate then then we will follow the third step that is check lp and hp side for choke if that is then clean it you can also purge the transmitter now how to purge a transmitter we will purge the transmitter by these drain points we will loosen the drains carefully but be careful if the drains are lost the transmitter will not work properly these drain points are very important part of this transmitter the fourth step is check the leaks on lp side and hp side we will check the leakage on lp side and that means low pressure side and hp side that means high pressure side if the readings are still not correct then calibrate the transmitter this is our last step we will calibrate the transmitter now we will discuss how do you do a zero check on a dp transmitter we will close either high pressure side valve in manifold or low pressure side valve in manifold step 2 is open the equalizing valve and the last one is output should 
read zero so that was our video thanks for watching the video if you like the video do like do share do subscribe and please press the bell icon for more updates